Check back in with Katie for an update on our first alert weather. We had blue skies and mm -hmm. sunshine for most of the day, but uh, those clouds, I understand, making their way in from the coast, right? They are, and even though we're seeing very cloudy conditions on these cameras, I'm not capturing any rain just yet here, but I know it is out there because I can see it on our radar. And some of you have even had a thunderstorm or two move through your area, which is what we were expecting both today and tomorrow afternoon. So here's a look at that radar where you can see those thunderstorms and lightning strikes that are moving through. But you also notice that not everybody is seeing a shower or is wet at the same time. That's what we were talking about. We get into a rainy day tomorrow with something more like this. Not showers for everyone, not thunderstorms for everyone, but definitely seeing some heavier spots of rain and the lightning strikes moving all the way through the region. But then you have the drier areas on either side. For tonight, do not expect the showers to let up. We're actually expecting them to gain momentum through tomorrow and have a very wet day tomorrow. Here's where we are with our highs today. We had quite the warm day today, made it up into those mid 60s. Plenty of sunshine helped with that. We often talk about that is that we said that yesterday if the clouds held off for a bit, we have more time to warm, which means we could be a bit warmer. And that's just what happened today. What happens tonight is we have the clouds like we did not have last night. So that means our overnight temperatures are going to stay a bit warmer. Even though I have damp paws all the way across this dog walking forecast, and that sweet Elton may go out and just have dry paws because it's going to depend on where you are and what time of night it is. And those showers will pick up speed tomorrow. Here's where we are with our overnight temperatures tonight. Looking at just different times throughout the day tomorrow, just be expecting a wet day with another chance for thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures will make a huge drop as we get into the 40s, where you saw we were in the mid 60s today, upper 60s on Saturday. Not going to see that. Here's where our snow levels are, and this is the chunk of time that we're watching and we're seeing that we have some watches and warnings in place. This was just upgraded and extended. We now have a winter storm warning. These snow totals, especially the Cascades, that's through Friday night. Looking into the weekend with the updated models, we'll see more snow. Here's what it looks like on your model forecast. You can see by the time we get to 11 o'clock, those showers have picked up a bit, a little break, and then we go into tomorrow and it's just showers across the board. Snow levels dropping as we go into Friday. Now you can see that chance for snow that we were just talking about. But you'll notice we never went below freezing in Portland, which means the snow that we're expecting to stick will not be as much through the Portland area. It'll mainly be along the coast range and the cascades there for you. Here's what your seven day forecast looks like. We have showers expected until Saturday. Sunday, where it looks like things will start to break up for us. We're likely dry on Monday. Tuesday is that question mark that we have where some of the models are showing showers and some are showing it dry. So we need to keep an eye on that because at this point we just start to see some showers and then it looks like we warm up into those mid upper 50s headed through the middle of next week. All right, Katie, thank you. Beginning of next week, looking kind of nice. I, I know, bring it, right? Yeah. yeah. Well,